hello guys and welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well today is going to be a lash with me on this set right here if you notice in this picture my client's eyes are red but this is just how they are all the time she always tears up her eyes are always red no matter what sometimes you'll just have those clients whose eyes are just always red and they clear up within like 30 minutes she has no irritation it's not a chemical burn it's absolutely nothing it's just some people have very her her face itself is very flushed uh, a lot of the times especially when she gets a little bit hot so you just honestly have those clients sometimes that are just always red and has nothing to do with the eyelash extensions at all i've been lashing this client for two years and there's never been a time where her eyes are white i don't know what it is she's never had a reaction to anything either so it's not like the ipads or the tape either it's just they're always red that's it but yeah so this is a wispy set and for today's mapping for spikes we're going to be starting off with 14 on the inner corner, 15, 16, 17, and 18. For my volume with sweet sets, I only apply spikes to around two-thirds of the eye, not all the way in the very outer corner. Oh, well, wait a second. For my cat eyes, I mean. When I do cat eyes, I apply the spikes two-thirds of the way in and on the very outer corner i'll leave that blank because that's where we're going to make our angle with our um, lashes and for fans we're going to be going in with 10 11 12 13 14 and then 15 on the very outer corner for the diameter of the fans we're going to be using is 0.5 and these are the self fanning lashes from the eyes so my clients' lashes are more on the thinner side. That's just how they naturally are. They aren't unhealthy at all. You'll find that some class and some classes, some clients have thicker lashes and some have thinner lashes. Just because they're thin doesn't mean that they're unhealthy. It just is how their natural hair growth is. And you just have to keep in mind the weight of the lashes that you're putting on top of it. Uh, you could use a 0.3. However, that's just going to create more of a shadow and that's not the look that we're going for. She wants them to be as full as possible. And the only way for me to give her as full as possible is to go to a 0 0.5. 0 0.7 will just be too heavy for her lashes for sure. So using a 0 0.5 is fine. Um, I will be going in between 10D and 6D lashes alternating, um, putting 10D on my, more, my most healthiest thicker lashes and putting 6D or 5D on my more very thin lashes. So the purpose of my lash with me is aren't necessarily to be a tutorial, it's mainly just um, for me and myself, I like to watch Lash With Me's, especially before my day, to help get me motivated. I don't know, something about watching somebody else do, do lashes, it makes me want to do lashes. So, I like to watch them for myself. So, I don't know who would like to watch mine, you know? So, that's mainly why I do that. And I just like to go over my mapping just so that you guys know what I'm doing. Um but yeah you guys and i like to answer at least one question in each video if i can uh one thing that i do want to say though before i and ask a question or answer the question tell you and answer the question um is i did try a new camera angle tell me how you guys like this angle i did zoom in a lot more um while i was filming i zoomed in so that i wouldn't accidentally get in frame and blur the um the video itself so that was fun um i've also edited this video a lot more and it's a little bit faster just like a little little bit faster and yeah this went from a two and a half hour video to literally 10 minutes so that's crazy let me go let me know if you guys like this length of video like this 10 minute video instead of the 15 20 minute videos and let me know if you like this angle as well but yeah okay so on to the question the question in today's video is what type of what's my favorite sensitive lash glue now for sensitive lash glue um of course i use vi's everything 
V Eyes does have a sensitive lash glue that I actually really, 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 really like. However, they also have a clear glue that I actually like a little bit more. Sensitive lash glue is is okay, but it's basically the same lash glue that you use. Just the ingredients don't have so much of a higher percentage, if you will. But if you use a clear glue, it doesn't have that uh, black dye. Um, and it's actually more sensitive than the sensitive glue, if that makes any sense. Because uh, a lot of the times people have reactions to the black dye in the glue. And since it's clear and it doesn't have that ingredient, it is perfectly fine for a lot of clients. So I would recommend you actually using a clear glue. If anything, uh, V Eyes does have a great one. Another thing too is that the clear glues come in different types of um, dry times and usually sensitive glue usually has a one to two second dry time or more frequently a two to three second dry time and those are just too slow for me so I'd much rather buy a clear glue that has a 0 0.5 second dry time and be good. But yeah you guys that is basically it for today's video. Um, this video is going to continue for just a little bit longer because it is only 10 minutes, but I'll go ahead and see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I did take a little bit of a break this last week, but I will be back this week with a lot of videos. And yeah, you guys, don't forget to like comment down below what you guys would like to see next and subscribe to my channel oh my goodness i forgot to even mention i um i made it over 900 subscribers so thank you so much for getting me over 900 subscribers and now we're on the road to 1000 subscribers so i'm very excited thank you so much for watching this channel i hope you enjoyed i've already said that so many times but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.